In today's video, we are going to be talking about the best pressure washing setup for efficiency. In this one, Kale is going to be walking us through the skid that he built himself, some of the upgrades that he's made on it, as well as towards the end of the video, we're going to get into why he uses the skid daily over the trailer and whether or not he thinks that you guys should build your own or pay to have one built. But before we get into the tour, if you guys want to learn how to wash every surface on a residential job site, which chemicals you need and how to mix them correctly, as well as the equipment you need and how to build your washing setup, check out the first link in the comment section and the description. That will take you to the how to wash course and in it, you're going to learn everything you need to know to start your business and to do the jobs correctly but with that out of the way let's go ahead and check out the build what's up you guys we are at a gas station cleaning it's nighttime as you guys know kale used to run a trailer setup uh before this video he's going to break down the skid how much everything costs as well as um if he likes it more than the trailer so let's go ahead and take a look at it all right kale so we got this the skid here kind of break it down for us uh because you built this you know usually people buy them already built but you built yours so kind of walk us through a little bit what we have here so basically we got the skid off a of marketplace it was kind of like a needle in a haystack like a one of a kind find for us uh we got it it came with the skid 50 gallon and a 100 gallon tank two hose reels that were mounted on the back opposite sides and two toolboxes for 2700 bucks. It was a steal. We brought it home uh, overnight. We sank another two grand into it, built it out. So we were roughly about 5,000 deep in it. And we ran it like that for several months until we started to upgrade some things. We pulled a toolbox off of this side and decided to run all our hoses on this side. That way when we pull up to a customer's house, everything dumps off one side. We're not crossing hoses back and forth and everything. Uh, we went ahead and added a cheap hose reel to it just for our water supply. We upgraded and added a new soft wash hose on the hose reel that was already on here. 200 foot of pressure hose. It did come with the blend manifold encased in this beautiful box here. So we got all our valves and stuff, water, surfactant, bleach. We got our Remco seven gallon per minute pump, our battery, which runs our pump and also runs our electric start for our pressure washer. We did just recently upgrade to this. We were running a small three and a half just for rinsing. We weren't doing a whole lot of pressure cleaning uh, and surface cleaning with this rig, but we started picking up some bigger contracts and stuff. So we decided to upgrade a little bit to a five and a half gallon. So that was right around 2,100 bucks. We already had the ladders. We got a 30 foot and a 20 foot. Uh, six foot a frame and then we have our surface cleaner we have our box just carry our tarps uh, jumper cables if we ever run into a bond our first aid kit as we call it with spare parts fittings whatever you need when you get in a bond on a job wands uh, smaller wash guns backup pumps tools you name it we got it so Kale, a couple questions for you, bro. So this used to be a three and a half. How big of a how big of a difference has it been jumping up from uh, three and a half to five and a half? Oh, it's definitely been a huge game changer as far as like the surface cleaning goes. It's a lot quicker. It speeds up the process. Definitely stepping up the GPM. It's we're able to get a better reach on taller buildings like apartment complexes and taller houses. Got a little more oomph to it to knock things down and everything. So I think it's definitely been a huge and uh game changer and definitely plays a big instrumental role in you know day-to-day -day washing right and you guys went from using the trailer that's over there daily to now you guys use the skid every day what's been the biggest difference um from switching between those two uh the biggest reason the biggest thing that pushed us to use a skid versus the trailer is accessibility we're not having to back in our driveways and stuff we can park in front of the house we can back end pull in a lot easier without having to watch behind us and everything as much with a trailer and jackknifing and just hard to get to areas we can kind of squeeze the truck in and get places that we couldn't with the trailer and it's a lot a lot easier to haul around in the back of the truck it's like driving your truck every day right so if you were going to do it again would you go straight to this build and not do the trailer or how would you do it uh it's hard to say because since the last time we did a trailer review we have upgraded a bunch of things, bigger tanks. We have an eight gallon on that. We'll be doing a video on that. But we haven't found a way to fit an eight on this. And we love that eight. It's played a huge part in our surface cleaning and hard to reach areas also. Uh, we haven't found a way to mount it on this. So it's really hard to say now that we use both, but I still think the skid for everyday washing would have to be my go-to in my opinion. It's just a lot easier a lot more organized and everything and you're not yanking something around all day excellent so last two questions kale you built this yourself um would you recommend other people 
other people do the same and how much money would you say you saved by building it yourself uh so like i said we got a good deal on it i believe if you get a skid just a frame built out they can go from anywhere from like 25 to 4500 dollars just for the frame itself you might come out a couple grand cheaper building out yourself and uh but building something out yourself you get a lot of experience uh and what it takes to get it to the point to use it and when something does go wrong you know exactly what to look for to troubleshoot it so because you're the one that put it all together so right i think it's worth it it's worth putting in the time and the money and getting the experience to learn your system as you build it and that's how that's how we've done everything okay sweet what's the word of the day man because everybody has to pick the word of the day that comes on the channel word of the day it's gonna be software skid. All right, you guys, the word of the day is skid. If you made it far in the video, comment down below skid on hashtag you're a real one. KO, thanks for coming on the channel, bro. We appreciate it.